to warm up your milk pop it in the microwave for about 10 to 15 seconds and then you can pour in one packet of unflavored gelatin and then you can also go in with two to three drops of tea tree oil or any other essential oil that you have and then you can also put a little bit of honey and then stir everything up make sure it's not too thick and not too runny just make sure the consistency is a little bit slimy excuse my crusty looking face i literally just washed my face now and i'm gonna go ahead and apply the gelatin mask onto my face this is how the consistency should be make sure it's not too thick so I'm gonna go ahead and start because the longer you wait the harder it's gonna be Hey guys, so I'm done applying the gelatin mask to my face. I'm gonna go ahead and give it about 30 to 45 minutes to dry and then I should be right back and I'll show you guys how I peel this off. I have some facial hair, down hair, and I'm gonna see if this mask can actually peel off your facial hair. The only thing you have to worry about when you're doing this mask is make sure you avoid your eyebrows and your hairline as much as possible because this mask is gonna pull out your hair. Anyways guys, I'm gonna be back when this mask is dry. Oh my god, this already hurts. Oh! Oh my god, I put it over where I have I have like a bump here in my skin, just like a zit, and I put it over it and it hurts. Ow! Ouch. Ouch, ouch. Ow! It's pulling my hair. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, that hurts. Ouch. Oh my god. This side hurts more. For some reason, this side hurts a little more than this one. I don't know why. Ouch. Oh my god. This mask is a lot different from my charcoal mask. If you guys have seen my charcoal mask, that one did not come out all at once, but this one is actually. I think it's probably stickier than the charcoal max mask. <laughs> That's why it's coming, it's peeling out all in one, uh, all in one peel, I guess. I'm gonna try to get everything out in one peel. I'm gonna try as good as I can. I think that'll be really nice. Oh. <laughs> Ouch. As you see how dry my face is. Oh. <laughs> okay, I see. Yeah. I thought I had a high pain tolerance, but I'm beginning to think my pain tolerance is not as high as I think it is so why am I crying from this? Uh, I feel like the nose area is just the most sensitive I don't know uh, I think because it's closer to your eyes it just makes you want to cry even more Ooh. Oh, ouch. guys this mask is gonna pull your hair i promise you like if you mistakenly put it on your hairline 
it's gonna pull your hair because right now it's pulling on my hairline. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. This was a challenge, okay? So this is the mask. I'm gonna show you guys a close-up so you can see. Hey guys, so I'm all done peeling off the mask and I was able to get everything out in one peel, which is really nice because when I did my other peel off mask, the charcoal one, I don't think I, I got everything all at once, but I did for this one. So that's pretty cool. My face feels so soft. It feels really nice. It feels soft. I feel like this mask is really effective because it's very, very sticky and that's how you know it's going to do a good job of pulling out your blackheads because when the mask is sticky and it also dries the way this one dried where it's so like, you know, like shiny and uniform, it peels even better. The stickier the mask, the more painful it's going to be. So this one was actually pretty painful, okay? Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna have so many more skincare videos and tips, so you guys should keep on subscribing. I will see you in my next video. Thank you. Bye-bye. And also, you need a big paddle brush. So what I like to do is, I'm gonna first brush my hair. 